Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 68 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, we'll discuss about one of the important primary steel making technique, electric arc furnace or EAF. Okay, so before uh, discussing about the topic, we are actually already launched a live batch starting from December 26th. So the link will be in the description. So people who are interested can watch the video given in the cards and enroll as soon as possible okay we will actually take till 25th and we are starting on 26th december so yeah now let's see about eaf so what is eaf eaf is nothing but my electric arc furnace okay so this is one of my primary steel making technique okay so other than this what do we have we have bof Okay, BOA for converter steel making we call or LD converter right so this is the other primary steel making technique which is usually used in the western countries where the temperatures are very low okay so EAF basically uses two types of energy sources number one is the chemical energy and along with the chemical energy we have electrical energy also okay that means not only the chemical energy coming from the exothermic reactions okay so we know right all the exothermic reactions taking place in primary steel making technique the same reactions which we saw in converter will happen here because at the end of the day you are refining the hot metal to produce steel but why is this extra source needed why this extra electrical energy is needed here this is because of the charge mix that you are using okay charge mix is nothing but the mixture of the raw materials that you use in this particular process so here the charge materials are dri plus steel scrap and hot metal okay of course you add all the other um, stuff like limestone dolomite as fluxes okay and also you inject pure oxygen okay we know that in any steel making technique we have to use 100 percent pure oxygen okay oxygen blowing will be done okay so just in a few minutes uh, i'll also explain about the schematic of eaf and how eaf is operated now coming back about the charge mix so here if you carefully see we have dri and scrap and the proportion of dri and steel scrap is about 50 to 60 percentage and hot metal usually is 40 to 50 percentage if you compare with converter in converter we use about 80 to 90 percentage hot metal whereas here we have cut down the hot metal consumption and increased the dri and solid scrap and these are basically solids right these are solids basically so to melt them you require some additional external energy that you have to supply and that is provided from my electrical energy right so this is the difference the main difference here is the charge mix okay and the reactions are all same and let's see the schematic of it so basically ef will be something like this there will be a roof to it of course it is a refractory lined vessel in all the directions and one main difference is that you have a slag door here okay this is an opening here so there will be slag continuously removed okay as the refining is taking place slag is continuously removed through this slag door so this is called a slag door okay and of course this roof is actually connected to a gantry which also has my electrodes in it okay so we usually have three graphite electrodes which are usually in a delta 
right so something like this we have electrode one two and three okay so this is the shape of my electrodes okay the placement of the electrodes and now what we do is this assembly the gantry which i said right so basically gantry is nothing but a mechanism where the roof along with the electrodes can be swiveled out okay it can be easily opened out right and once it is removed we charge the scrap okay the first charge that we are doing is the scrap and also we simultaneously charge hot metal into it just after charging the scrap you can add the hot metal so for charging the hot metal basically there will be launder car okay something like this there will be a launder car where my ladle will sit here and this has a tilting mechanism so basically my ladle is tilted and hot metal is coming out through the runner okay this is a small launder car which we call okay and uh, it can move right so this launder car is actually this launder is kept inside just at the slag door okay just into the slag door so that your hot metal can easily go into the furnace right so this is scrap and hot metal charge now the second important thing is we'll on the power and start to feed dri the dri and the other things which are flux and oxygen okay so here basically you have a feeder and this dri and flux here are charged continuously okay this is not a batch of course it is a batch process but you are not adding everything at once as you do in a converter here what you do is you continuously feed dri at the rate of about 3 to 4 tons per minute okay so continuous feeding will be done now uh, from where this oxygen is going so basically you have four injectors okay on all the four sides of my ef so oxygen is basically injected through the uh, we call cis cmag injection system we call cis 4.0 where you have four oxygen injectors okay so now one more important thing you have to know is about the tapping so basically here the tapping mechanism is also different your tap hole will basically be somewhere here at the bottom okay which we call ebt what is ebt ebt means centric bottom tapping okay so in converter you have the tap hole somewhere at the top so you need to tilt for more angle whereas here tapping means only about a maximum of 10 degrees okay 10 degrees will be the tilt angle right so this uh, actually it seem to be a spherical shape but it will usually be something like this okay this is how your furnace shape will be there and your ebt will be somewhere here okay so your refining the steel hot metal charge everything will be here okay of course there will be sealing of the ebt okay using some refractory material and when you open it and tilt it then you see that the hot metal sorry the molten steel is going to the tap hole and it will fill the ladle so this is how an ef works so the main differences that you have to remember is the charge mix and because of the charge mix we are actually increasing the percentage solids that you are using that is the reason why you need to melt them before you refine them so for melting them we are using graphite electrodes which are providing me an electric energy by arcing with my solid charges which are my scrap and dri right so this is about the electric arc furnace so if you like the video please hit the like button and also check the link in the description or the video which we have posted previously for complete details about the live batch starting from december 26th i hope many people will get beneficiated from it 
so please do join as soon as possible so that's it from my side guys thank you we'll meet you in the next video